Okay, so episode 5 starts off with a scene that had absolutely nothing to do with anything that happened in the game. Here's it anyway, because this girl will catch it. He lets know that he loves his sweets. Now this scene lets me know that these animators have a girl addiction. They just can't help themselves from putting more and more of him here in this anime. At this rate, Aniplex is probably going to turn the pancake scene into an entire episode of Goro. Now, moving on to a more interesting character that I don't hate, Iwai. He's real skeptical about the metal that the fellas bring in. Ryuji tell him it's cool, I know a guy who knows a guy who has a friend somewhere who gave it to me. I let him know it's cool bro, I used to live the thug life too. And the fellas get their first payday. I'll let it slide this time, you should be grateful goes to a fancy restaurant to celebrate a job well done on the first heist. Once again, they have Ren staring off into space, looking really crazy and weird. Now, I know this is just an anime, but damn that food looks fucking delicious. And this doesn't happen often. The last time I got hungry from seeing cartoon food was the Krabby Patty. But I'm getting off topic now. Now later on we get introduced to Anime Shido. No For some reason looks like he's 10 years older than in-game Shido. This guy looks like he's tired and about to have a mental shutdown. Not like the asshole he is, he bumps into the main characters. He can't give less of a fuck. Even outside the interrogation room, Ren has selective amnesia for some reason. How does he not remember the guy that he beat up and that took him to court? Wouldn't his face be burned into his memory? Now unless Shido sued this guy by a proxy, there's no way in the hell Ren should be forgetting this dude. So this fan, this plus size lady ends up bumping into An and ends up blaming her for it. All the other women in the restaurant join in on it and An has to stand there and take it. The big bone lady probably bumped into her and started all this because she was jealous of An in the first place. At least that's what I think. But so she's lucky she didn't bump into someone like Mishima. Mishima just would have asked her her name and put her name on the fan site. God forbid someone like Goro. He just would have ended up giving that lady a mental shutdown. It wouldn't have been too hard, I'm pretty sure that lady has a palace. I'm pretty sure that restaurant is probably like that lady's empire or something. Now after the whole restaurant debacle, the guys go off to discuss whether or not they should continue on as Phantom Thieves. But they leave it up to Joker to decide. And his answer is... I want the world to know of my existence! That my power is erasing evil! Wondered, what's Morgana gonna do if he said no? Like, yeah, I'm on probation. I got the stuff to do. I don't feel like doing this anymore. So the group decides to hang out for the night. And what is this? He's giving gifts already? Alright, Joker. Alright. He's even texting that girl tonight. Good work, Joker. My guy's at school. Morgana's going on about how he thinks it's about time they found their next mark already. Somehow, the guy who everyone thinks is the delinquent has not been snitched out for bringing a cat with him every day. And now we have Mishima, who's the Robin to your Batman. Kinda. Cause he's the only character that finds out you're part of the Phantom Thieves before the confidant even starts. He's a good guy, but sometimes he gets too close so you just gotta tell him to back the fuck up. Or just ends up denying the whole thing. Now this is why I like Joker. He will deny anything. You go hold his birth certificate right in front of him and he will still pretend like he doesn't know what his name is. On to some less intelligent characters. Now the principal suspects that the Phantom Thieves are actually at Shujin Academy. He concocts a plan to have the student president actually spy on all the students. Koto's capable of being well known and somehow covert at the exact same time. Cause when you're a student class president like Makoto, you're somehow able to be covert too. Now the crew goes over Mishima's fan site to find out a new target. Which, let's just be real here, that's bullshit. It's not a fan site, it's more of a hit site. It's a site for people to post people they don't like. And how do they know people aren't lying on the fan site either? Most of that site would just be a bunch of teenagers lying about people that they just didn't like. The rest of it would probably be celebrities and other politicians. Which might not be a bad idea. I would like to see some politicians get their hearts changed other than Shido. But a man can dream, can he? They go into mementos, and Morgana reveals that his father was actually the magic fucking school bus. 
I'm really hoping for Morgana to run over one of these shadows like he does in the game, but damn it, he didn't. He just goes straight for the target, but screw it. Find their victim in Mentos, he actually just pleads his case. He's just like, I'm not even that bad. All I do is hide in my girl's bushes every now and then. There are people out there who are a hell of a lot worse than I am. But the gang ends up making short work of him anyway. Now after they send their target to hell, Morgana wants to make some ground rules for the next target. He proposes that they only go after the big criminals, the real scum of the earth, like the last target, or the bullies at Shujin, or any of the other Mementos targets that are really just assholes and not criminals, right? Love Morgana. If he wants to mount a more high ground over everybody else, let him. Now we finally get another scene with the doctor, but the lights are dim, and he's putting his clothes back on. I feel like we're missing a scene here. This anime needs an uncut version. I want to know what happened. Because it's not like he got injured in his last fight. He literally didn't even get touched. It's on, and now the doctor. I hope this guy knows what's going to happen on Valentine's Day if he keeps doing this. And as a parting gift, she gives him some. What is that? Cocaine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> That's not what I think it is, is it? And I'll be real here. I do not have the guts to take that stuff. Who knows what the side effects are? If you notice agitation, hostility, depression, or changes in behavior, thinking, or mood that are not typical for you, or if you develop suicidal thoughts or actions, stop taking Chantix and call your doctor right away. Now my guy's actually starting to get fed by Sergio. After three weeks of being there, I guess better late than never. But Sergio lets him know that nothing in life is free. That if he wants to eat, he's gonna have to work for all his food. And as fate would have it, they just get some customers. Sai Nijima and Goro Okachi. Sojo's actually really rude to Sai. He's like, bitch, why are you here? Now I didn't understand it at first, but I have a theory why he's so rude to her. He was probably trying to back it at one time and got turned down, and still salty about it. Okay Sojo, you're not alone. We could put you all the other guys that try to make a pass at her. The director, Goro, and now you. Let me explain. It's okay. You gotta get over it. You can't expect Sai to fill in that hole in your heart that Wakaba left. Then again, she's not really cordial with him either. She sits down without even ordering anything, but still looks like she expects to get served. Now while they're having their back and forth, Goro starts babbling on the rent about some nonsense. <laughs> I don't know, I wasn't listening to it. It would have been nice if Ren was actually rude to Goro and told him to get out, but he doesn't. We don't take kindly to your types around here. I would have told him the lady been grandfather then, but you gotta leave fam, we close it in five minutes. For some reason Goro gets two scenes in this episode. One like 30 second scene that had nothing to do with anything in the game, and another one towards the end. But Yusuke, a party member, only gets one scene in this episode for like 5 seconds. Why? Been bamboozled. Calm down Yusuke. You're in the next episode. I'm thankful for it. May I get a word in? Yeah.